welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey girl, hey. My name is Devonna Payne of wifeyknowsbest.com. Other than being a mom blogger and lifestyle influencer, I teach women how to take their brand and their business to the next level with my A plus years of experience in design, multimedia, and digital marketing. So you guys, I'm super excited about this video. This is a tech tip video, something quite different, but if you haven't been following me on Instagram, then follow me right here. My name is Miss Payne Brandon on Instagram, and you guys, welcome to part three of my tech tip video. Okay, so I'm super excited to bring you part three of my July series of how to green screen using your app. But in today's video, it's not about your mobile app. So if you missed part one and part two of how to green screen using mobile apps, then definitely go and follow me on my Instagram at Miss Payne Branding and check out my IGTV series and you'll be able to see start to finish of which two apps I use. Or you can go and click the link in my description box and follow me at wifeyknowsbest.com to see the full blog post of the three apps that I'll be using. But in today's video, like I mentioned, we're not talking about mobile apps, we're talking about desktop app. The desktop app that we're gonna be using is, drum roll please, Adobe Premiere. So I'm super excited to bring this video to you. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up if you're super excited too. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on your notification bell so you can get all the notifications about everything that I bring to you. And let's go ahead and get started into this video. Okay, so as I mentioned, today's video is all about how to green screen in Adobe Premiere. So if you have Adobe Premiere or your Creative Cloud, go ahead and download the app, open the app, and let's get started. So after you open the app, of course you wanna press new projects. Go ahead and name your projects, and then it will default to the default settings or the default sequence. If you wanna make any changes, then go to the top left corner at the top in the menu bar and click sequence and you can make that change. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and import my two items into Adobe Premiere. So the first is my full size image. So this is the image that actually has the green screen in the phone. So if you're taking your video, you can either Photoshop this or you can actually take a picture of yourself holding your phone with the actual green background. Next, I'm going to drag this picture onto my timeline. And with that being said, I just want to show you that all you have to do is go into import and import the actual either picture or movie. I'm using a movie or video and I'm just gonna go ahead and press play so you can you know, just see that the video actually works. So now that I've imported the video, I'm simply just going to double click it just to make sure that it is playing correctly once I imported it. Now afterwards, I'm going to drag that onto my timeline, but I'm gonna put it on the second layer. So I'm gonna put it on the layer above as of right now, just so I can go ahead and rotate the image or scale it up or down, resize, whatever I need to do to do this. So all you have to do in order to rotate and scale the effects, the effect controls, and now I am going to scale down and reposition. So the position itself, obviously, is your X and your Y axis. So to the left and to the right, and then up and down. So play with that just a little bit, just so you can fit either your image or your video into that space that you wanna replace. And then for me, I had to kind of rotate my image, but again, this is way better than the first two apps that I previously mentioned on my IGTV. So if you missed part one and part two of those videos, definitely go and check that out. So after I scale it down correctly, and if it's perfectly inside of the green screen box that I will eventually replace, we're gonna move on to replacing that green screen. I hope you're keeping up. If you have any issues, definitely just go ahead and go to my blog site and check everything out 
from top to bottom. I give you the instructions from start to finish. So now we're gonna click on the image that has the green screen and then we're gonna type in into effects and type in key. After you type in key, you wanna select ultra key. After that, you drag and you drop it onto the actual image or video that has the green screen. Now you go into the effects control Scroll down where it says key color and you click the eyedropper tool. Once you click the eyedropper tool, you click on your green or your color that you want to replace. For me, it's the green. And once I click on that, it makes my background, it's, it looks black, but it's actually transparent. Next, I'm going to drag my top layer below or drag the bottom layer above. However you want to do it, it's not that hard to do just drag it move it around and that way you're switching the layers in which your images were originally placed and just like that voila all you have to voila you know what I'm saying I mean, magic all you have to do is click on play and um, if your video is acting up again I would highly suggest you just to render it again which is selecting all your layers or you can click command and a that way you'll be able to select all of your layers and then you can click render selection or render in and out it's the same thing after that you guys all you have to do is export your video I would highly suggest you just to play around but you can also copy my settings so it's super easy and super simple to do green screen in Adobe Premiere and once you export the file out, just double click where you save the video just to check it out for yourself and this is how it turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching this quick tech tip tutorial on how to green screen in Adobe Premiere and again if you want to see part one and part two of how I green screen in two popular mobile apps then definitely go ahead and follow me on my instagram at miss Payne branding and go check out wifeynosbest.com to see the full blog post on how i do three ways to remove green screen or edit green screen using your app all right you guys thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you guys in the next video peace